In this video, we show how to tell whether a given point lies on the graph of an equation. Graphs of equations are made up of points, often an infinite number of points. Consider the two graphs here. The line, it's made up of an infinite number of points where each point is represented by an ordered pair. Same for this curve on the right. It's also made up of an infinite number of points. So given a graph, we can tell whether a given point lies on the graph just by observing. For example, Suppose given this graph here, where some of the points on the graph are specified, and the question may be, does a given point lie on the graph? So let's tell if 1, 1 lies on the graph. 1, 1 is located right about here, and we can see clearly that 1, 1 does not lie on the graph. In order for a point to lie on the graph, the point must touch or go through the, the graph. Does the point negative 2, 1 lie on the graph? We can see clearly that negative 2, 1, which is right here, you make it really big, it does lie on the graph. Let's look at another example. Suppose given an equation this time, and we want to determine whether points lie on the graph of this equation. For one, let's check. In this case, we need to just substitute the values of x and y into the equation and see if the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation. If it is, then the graph, the point does lie on the graph. So everywhere I see x, I'm going to put 0. And everywhere I see y in the equation, I'm going to put 1. And the question is, is the left-hand side going to be equal to the right-hand side? If it is, then we know that point does lie on the graph. In this case, 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1, so we're coming with 1, 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. So we can see that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So, yes, 0, 1 lies on the graph. And take a look at 2. put an equal sign above 
I put a question mark above the equal sign because I'm not sure. I really don't know if it's going to be true. So let's simplify and check. So 2 squared is 4. One half squared is one fourth. And when we simplify this further, we can see that four plus one five is not equal to four. So two one half is not. is not on the graph. All right, if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. Math is order. It's not just about numbers and symbols.